Harper is the girl whose skin grows too fast. Harlequin ichthyosis is a very rare genetic skin condition, which makes her skin grow 10 times faster than most. Um, um, what happened? Um, her ankles were, were swelling up and she was about to lose circulation. She needs to love herself. She needs to have the confidence in herself. As parents, that is our job right now, is to instill that confidence. I want them to know that Harper is not contagious. It's just a skin condition and she's just like everyone else. Did you sleep good? Harper was born with a very rare skin condition called Harlequin ichthyosis. We found out she had the condition the day that I gave birth to her. They said that she had a 50% chance of living. The most thing I was feeling is just really scared and very anxious of um, the unknown. She has the rarest form of the condition. At the time when she was born, they said that she was the 13th living in the U.S. with it. Oh, all right, let's go get some quiche. Your feet hurt? Okay, I'll carry you. She gets cracks on the bottom of her feet, so it makes oh. it hard for her to walk. Harper's condition can be very painful if we don't treat it and get her the proper skin care. Her feet can get really big cracks, which prevents her from walking or even running. Her hands get really cracked and dried. Her ears, her neck, her face can get really uh, dry and crackly, and what happens is she scratches and then it bleeds. So Harper, what do you want to do today? You want to play with Jackson at all? You want to go to the park? With her skin growing 10 times as faster makes her metabolism, you know, she has a fast metabolism, and so she's constantly hungry and constantly thirsty. Come on, baby. Harper is taking her um, bath. She takes two to three baths a day for about an hour long. We um, alternate between her baths and showers. What happened? Um, Dive? Oh, well, I love that look. Both my husband and I carry a gene that has an effect on her condition. Her thick plaques after she was born from the skin buildup. Her ankles were, were swelling up and she was about to lose circulation. So we went in and made the incision to release the pressure so the plaques were able to come off and get blood flowing so we could save her feet. All right. Get some of your aquaphor, a little Theraplex. Let's get your arms. This is what we do. We do this probably, I don't know, five, six, seven times throughout the day to keep her skin all lubed up. Because if we don't keep it like this, she starts to itch and then she starts to bleed and she can get infection. My back itches. Oh, your back itches. Here, look at it, that's how. Itches. I love her. Oh, I love you too. Can you give me a Thank you. You're being silly. Dr. Gupta, we met with her. I think we try to check in with her yearly. She's super easy to talk to, really knows um, Harper's condition. This was my first time actually taking care of a patient with Harlequin ichthyosis. It was really kind of eye-opening. Some of the things that we were faced with with Harper doing like this novel surgery to release the thick armor-like scale, you know, there really was not much in the literature regarding, mm -hmm. um, regarding this. It's not gonna be stagnant. It's always going to be ever-changing. Different stresses on her body, viruses, um, you know, puberty, all those things yeah. are like a difference as well. We are very forever grateful for you. Oh, well, thank yeah. you. Now, pleasure's all mine. Harper loves to play with her brother. All sorts of activities. Get set. Go! She just likes being around him. That's her best friend by far. The things I love most about my sister is probably everything. 
I realized Harper was different when people started asking a lot of questions and um, her skin. I gotta stick up for her if people are saying mean things. What kind of things do you play with your brother? Um, sometimes we play like a secret something. Can you give me another big smile? Very nice. It does get tough when you're out at dinner or you're trying to enjoy a family outing, whether it's going for a walk, you know, having a little ice cream, and you've got families that literally won't take their eyes off you. Through five years of this, we've gotten used to it. It is bothersome sometimes that people are staring and stare so often because I forget that she looks different because to me, she isn't different. I want them to know that Harper is not contagious. It's just a skin condition and she's just like everyone else. It's super important to love ourselves. I think you can't love others until you love yourself. Harper needs to embrace her condition. She needs to love herself. She needs to have the confidence in herself. As parents, that is our job right now, is to instill that confidence. 